What is up guys? Jake here with a new game video for y'all. I guess I have to sort of admit to myself finally that I am sort of over Rival Kingdoms. I played it, I enjoyed it, but it's so similar to Clash and it's sort of, it's not as good in, in a lot of aspects. It's got some nice aspects, but you know, the strategy level to me is not as deep. It's just not as enjoyable. So I guess I have to admit that I'm probably over that game. Uh, but this channel, as I've told you guys, is going to be for whatever I'm sort of playing. And I did download Vainglory, and I am enjoying it. And so I thought I would bring it to you guys. It's nothing at all like Clash. I think that's more than anything what I enjoy about it. It's not a base building game. You know, we've got Clash for that. But, you know, there's times you just want to play something else. And Vainglory has sort of filled that role for me lately. Uh, just This video is just for noobs like me, because I still am a noob. But it's going to tell you a lot of things that I wish I knew day one about this game. Uh, because that's, you know, that's the frustrating part to get into a new genre like this. This is a MOBA game. If you don't know what that is, it's a, a multiplayer online battle arena. Just a three versus three, sort of a capture the flag style game. It's always the same map, but there's tons of different heroes and abilities and builds you can make. It gets pretty in-depth, but you don't have to worry about it. It's sort of overwhelming at first, but don't worry about it, really, honestly. It's just... You're going to start off slow, you're going to start off as a noob, but you're going to get better relatively quickly. I've been playing this game for, I don't know, a week, week and a half, and I already understand the, the greater concept of it. I'm getting better at it, uh, different play styles. You know, it's it, it's it, it comes pretty quickly, so don't let that frustrate you. The first thing you're going to look at is this home screen. Don't worry about that. Uh, when you go to play, here's what it's going to look like. you got the casual match up top. The ranked match is going to be grayed out for a long time. Don't even worry about that. But you'll see down at the bottom, practice and party. Party is if you want to play with your friends, you can group up and do it. Uh, but practice is what you're going to want to focus on right away. You can do the initiation. You can do the co-op versus basic robots, all that stuff. It's Go ahead and do it. Uh, start, start the initiation. That's good. Also, when you go to Academy, there's videos. I mean, you can go through the basics. There's pretty good little tips and videos, the map, items, just go through these and actually watch them, guys. Take 20 minutes of your life and watch those videos because they'll give you sort of a leg up. Uh, but the main thing you're going to want to do is go to practice. And I would suggest going to solo practice down here at the bottom. What this is going to do is allow you to look at any character you want, any hero that out there in the game, and look at their abilities, look at their skills, and test them out. When you start playing, you're not going to have all of these unlocked. You actually have some that you can play for free, but then you have to purchase them with... Uh, the way you build up glory in this game, you'll purchase those. But worry about that later. Play with one of the, they, they give you a different style. Uh, you get, if you want a sort of a range type troop, they'll give you that. Uh, like Celeste, she's a pretty pretty good range troop. Ringo, those are the people that'll, that'll sort of shoot from a distance, do some uh, kiting. I mean, if you're kited in the game, uh, things like that. Uh, then you've got tanks that just go in and, and take a beating. Uh, let's see, what do we got that's sort of tanky? Uh, Glaive is, can be pretty tanky. Uh, let's see, who else? This guy, uh, Cruel, he can be hard to, hard to handle. Uh, Catherine can be built, you know, different builds. And you can click down here on the bottom, you'll see these little, uh, that fist there and different things. That's going to tell you a little bit about the character, what their role is, what their stats are. And then you can look through each one of their abilities. The fun thing about this game is that only there's only three abilities to use. Usually it's called A ability, B ability, and your ultimate ability. Uh, but just to show you what we're talking about here, let's just go in like Ringo. They, this is a, a common thing. We're going to show you the map, going to show you sort of how the game is, is done. And then from there, we'll talk about uh, how you build your character up and a few easy ways to practice uh, different builds and, and see what your options are. All right, as this loads up here, you're going to see here's the map. And on the top of your screen here, you can see... I can, I can click on that. I'm actually clicking on that little small map in the top right. And you can move around. Uh, you've got a couple different areas. This up here, you can see these minions. Your, your base constantly spawns these minions. And they run down this road called the lane. And as they go through the lane, those are your turrets. They help defend it. Uh, if they get taken out, that's not good. But this is sort of the middle ground. This is where you're going to be fighting at first. The, usually a team has a person that's a laner and a person that's in the jungle, and then a person that usually supports, roams between the two, uh, sort of helps buff the, the teams, take, you know, just wherever they're needed, sort of. 
Uh, so the, the map looks the same on both sides there. you got the lane and then you've got your base. That's your vein. If someone kills that, the game's over. Obviously, you've got a couple extra turrets protecting that. So now, this is the jungle, and this is very important. When you're going to see, actually, let's just run in there in the jungle for a moment and show you that, and then we'll start talking about the character and the builds. Uh, to move around, you just tap on the screen. It's very simple. You tap where you want to go. Your guy runs through the jungle. Uh, or through the lane or whatever you just sort of tap wherever you want to do now there's a there's the what they call like a mob these are important for what they call farming everything in this game revolves around gold you'll notice in that top left corner of the screen that number that's moving up slowly that's my gold amount and it goes up slowly but also when you kill uh when you kill mobs you get extra gold as well that is going to that's the whole thing at the start, especially. You got to farm, you got to get these things up, and you're going to run into the other team and you're going to fight it out. But for the most part, you want to protect your side, you want to farm your mobs, because once you get enough gold, you can start upgrading your abilities. And that is really where it's at. Once you start upgrading those abilities and you get to where you are, you have these ultra powerful, you know, perks, I guess you could call it then you're really going to be hard to deal with. And when you run into the enemy, if you have been able to upgrade faster than them, you're probably going to win those fights. And when you win the fight and you kill an enemy, obviously they're down for a while. They can't respawn for a little bit. And you can take full advantage of that and get, you know, tr strategic things. There's a gold miner. There's different things like that. So farming gold at the start is really a lot of times who what determines who wins the, the outcome of the match. Now, if you look down at the very bottom right here, you'll see a little flashing symbol that says shop. If you click on that, it's going to pull up this. And this is where it starts getting really confusing when you're new. Uh, but again, don't worry about it. You'll notice six empty circles down there at the bottom of the screen. Uh, as you go through here, you can go with just recommended. And when you're like the first few matches, I would probably recommend just taking whatever this game recommends for you. Don't stress about it. If it tells you to get the weapon blade, get the weapon blade. Now, this is a progression. If I click on weapon blade and I buy it, you're going to see it fills up one of my slots down there. Now, if I go to six sins and I buy it, it just replaces that. So as you go through a progression, let's say towards this sorrow blade, it's only going to fill up one of your spots. Now, I can go back right now and buy weapon blade again, and you see it's going to start a new progression. It's going to take up a second spot. So don't get confused about that. If you mess up, you can literally click on it down there at the bottom. You see, I clicked on that second weapon blade. I can sell it, get it out of the way. You're going to lose some gold doing that, so don't make a habit of it. Uh, but if you mess up, you can do that and remove it. But try to think of it as weapon blade, six sins, replaces weapon blade. It doesn't add a second circle, a second slot. It just progresses through there. Once you, once you go to that progression, if you go backwards, it's going to open up a, and fill a new circle. So remember that. Uh, take some time in this solo. You don't have to worry about this. There's no one fighting you. Take some time and read through the abilities when you can. Just go through, see what you want to go after. You know, here's the sort of the end game, and it shows you what you have to select. Like right here, to get Sorrow Blade, I, ha I have to start with Weapon Blade. Then I can choose Heavy Steel or Six Sins, and then I can go to Sorrow Blade. Uh, to get this Serpent Mask, I can either start with Weapon Blade, or I can go with Book of uh, Eulogies. So it just sort of you can map out your your upgrade progression as you go and again it's all about gold because each one of those numbers below there are how much gold it costs you and what you're going to have to do to get it this whole the weapon thing there that's auto attack damage when you encounter a mob or an enemy uh, someone else that's playing against you and you tap on them when you you have an auto attack every few seconds it, you do a swing you do a swing this is going to boost that damage make it go faster like if you go to uh, tornado trigger that's going to greatly increase how fast you do your auto attack and then things are going to also add damage to that auto attack if you go to the ability tab and you start looking at crystal and crystal power uh, the buffs that it gives you there that is going to increase your damage of your abilities that we talked about this a ability the b ability and your ultimate down there in the bottom so that's the simplest I can explain it. Uh, auto attack stuff is all red, so you're going to always know that's a red thing. Uh, and ability things are always blue. Uh, you can also, you only get so much, so many trick times to do it. You run out of, quote, energy. If you look at my bar there, my health bar is the big blue bar. But right below it, if you'll notice that bar that went down just a little bit there, uh, that is my sort of energy bar. You can't, once you use abilities, you can't run out of that. But if you look at like this energy battery, there's a line to make that go faster. Hourglass, things to make you your abilities uh, cool down, go faster. 
Then you can go down to defense. You've got basically health on the top line. You've got shield, which defends against ability damage. And then you've got armor, which defends against auto attack damage. Uh, it's as easy as I can explain that. Then you go to utility. You're going to see things like speed boost. Uh, this contract actually is a good thing if you're a support class to look into that. Uh, then you can also get like, you know, some more health from, from that bottom section. There are also consumable items. I wouldn't worry a lot about that, but you can grab a, like a, a, po a potion. It heals you up. But at the start of the game, try to just get, get the, your feet wet before you add an element to it, like clickable items in the game. But they are there for you. Now, the one thing that I didn't know that I wish I did know before I started this game, it took me a while to actually figure this out, is that in the practice mode alone, you can click this pot of gold. It's just going to give you a thousand gold when you want it. It's going to take up a spot down there, but you can build up your gold and then you can just sell it, get it out of the way. It's free. Do it all you want to. Also, this level juice is going to make you level up. So basically what this allows you to do is grab a bunch of gold and level your character up so that you can plan for a quote build how you want your character to be and have an idea in your head as the fight's progressing so you don't have to think about what you're upgrading during the fight because the fight's sort of fast and furious you don't want to be sitting there looking at your uh you know progression oh what do i want to upgrade next have a plan before you go into a match uh, so like here i can do that then i can hit the level up button i can level up you see the, the at the bottom there it's going to start um you know, I can upgrade, upgrade right there. As I hit this level button again, it's going to give me another upgrade option. So you can sort of plan how you want to upgrade. You cannot max all of these. You can max two out of the three, okay? So right here, you'll see I'm saving that for last. I use my ultimate ability. It's max. Now that's it. Level 12, that's the max. There's no more upgrades. You can see that on my A ability, there's one slot not filled. Uh, so if I wanted to go into the shop now and just start sort of making my build. I've got the money, I've got max level. I can go in here and plan out exactly what I want to build this guy. Uh, so this is the this is the basics of it, you know, whatever, and I'm just throwing stuff out there. I'm not actually doing it, but watch how I click that. I click, click Swift Shooter. If I go to Blazing Salvo, it replaces Swift Shooter. All right, so remember that. I maxed out on my tension bow for my weapon blade, but if I want to go into weapon blade again and get another inline ability, like let's say sorrow blade, I can do that. I can upgrade there. I can upgrade sorrow blade. Uh, things like running does take up one of your slots, but it's pretty common that you need to get that no matter what your build is. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. From that point, build your character, try different things, read the description, see what you think is best. And then just get out there and give it give it a try. There's different play styles. I'm going to be showing you some gameplay uh, videos on this. Just me playing. Again, I am a noob. But this is the stuff that I didn't even know the first time I loaded the game up that I wish I had. Uh, these are the, Again, when you start targeting these, another thing to notice is that only the last... You see that little yellow s symbol popping up? That's gold that I'm collecting from killing those mobs. If someone gets the last hit on the mob, they get the gold. That's it. No other hit matters. Only that last hit uh, is going to get you the gold that you want. So remember that when you're going through the, uh, through it right there. You saw that, that turret target me. You don't want the turret shooting at you. Uh, this game gets pretty in-depth, but again, this will get you started. Get into that practice mode. Just do a map. Run around. Get a feel of where everything is. And you're you're going to have fun. I really I think you guys are going to like this. Again, it's nothing like Clash of Clans. It's totally different. Oop, the baby's up. Totally different, but sometimes we need that. You know, we, we all love the base building videos or the games, but uh, sometimes you need something different. Real quick before I go, Minion Mine and Gold Mine. Uh, this comes along at four minutes of the match. These Minion Mines are going to pop up. If I kill this Minion Mine guy here, what it's going to do is give my, my team more and stronger of those Minions you see running through the lane. If I go to the Gold Mine, which remember, gold is the end-all be-all, it is going to give my team gold as he fills up, and then get, we get a payout. If the enemy team steals it before the payout comes, they get the payout. So those are important things, but that gets a little bit more technical. We'll talk more about that in future videos. Uh, so if you guys like the looks of this, download it. Give it a try. Play with it. Again, start out in the solo practice mode. Get your feet wet. Get a feel for it. And then go into those casual games. And don't worry. Everyone at, in that stage is pretty much starting out. You're going to get some buttholes, but you know, ignore them. There's dickheads in every game. Just play for, for fun uh, and ask questions. I'll, I'll try my best to look at the comments here. I don't know how much I'll get to. I spend so much time on the comments of the uh, Clash videos that I, I don't always have time to catch up on these, but I'll do my best. And I'm going to try to continue 
to show you guys the games that I'm playing. Maybe we'll get to play together, you know, join a group and, uh, and wreck some fools in this game. Hope you guys liked it. Until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.